Uh, meanwhile, it's familiar territory for Real Madrid, Frank, who were probably, what, four out of ten, would you say? They, 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 don't, they didn't even have to be even They, more, they weren't they? that great today. Benzema was anonymous. Vinicius Jr. was poor. Yeah. But then you just saw flashes, didn't we? Like, Fede Valdere for that second goal. How good was that, Frank? That's fantastic. Don't forget that you have 30 passes between the players before it happens. So they were in completely control of the game, completely control of uh, their, their, their technique, their tactic, and they move forward. And suddenly you have something, you know, Ceballos leaves the ball to, uh, to Vinicius Junior, crosses the ball for Valverde. How, how he controls the ball and pushes the ball already puts Thiago Sivas out. And the altruism of, uh, of Valverde is, 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 it makes the guy being a genius because... It seems to be so simple, but you have to have the thought of willing to give the ball to somebody else, willing to find somebody else because you know that maybe you cannot score. It's such a beauty. It's, it's perfect, but we know that Valverde is capable of doing that because he's a, he's a great player and he's, he's been showed to the world that he's one of the best midfield players in terms of transition in the world. So, yeah, him, I love Kamavinga. I love Militao at the back and, uh, and every player, but you have to mention Courtois. Courtois, mm. you know, it would have been maybe, maybe a different story if Kukura would have scored just before halftime, maybe, even if I don't think so. But Courtois made two fantastic saves at Santiago, Santiago Bernabeu in the, first, uh, in the first tie and tonight against just before halftime. They have a great team everywhere, great players. We're full of confidence. Don't forget that's, I think... 13 semi final in 15 years. That's, that's amazing. They carried three of the top players tonight. Completely. Yeah. Modric, who gave the yeah. ball away in the first half more than I've seen him do in probably a decade. Karim Benzema, who's been arguably with Lewandowski the best striker in the last decade, and, and, and Vinicius Jr., who you mentioned. And so what happened was others other stepped up. Rodrigo again stepped up. Valverde stepped up. Chris got better as the game went on. And as Frank mentioned, Camavinga is just playing himself into that left back role, unfortunately for him, because he's done such a good job. And, you know, Militao get that booking. Yeah. But. Yeah, Frank Lampard said he should got a second yellow for the challenge in the second Which half. was absolute no. nonsense. Mm. Because there was barely even a foul in the challenge. What do you think? No, oh, I'm with you. And not only. Well, clearly not. I don't think it was a foul regardless, but it would not have been a second ye yellow card anyways. In the case of Valverde, just like I said that Chelsea could have been out there till midnight and they would not have scored, Real Madrid would have been out there till midnight and Fede Valverde would still be going back and forth. It's exactly and what you want forth. as a teammate. Yeah. And back and forth. Well, certainly <laughs> because you know that Toni Kroos and you know that Luka Modric are not getting around with the same sort of pace and intensity around the field as they once did. And if... Luka Modric is going to give up the ball, like Craig just mentioned there in the first half, then you need somebody who's willing to do that, right? To, to can, who can win balls in the midfield, can support in the attack, but can also come back and defend. And Fede Valverde is a dream for any manager because he's a guy that gives you flexibility, that gives you the work defensively, but has the pace and the physicality and the ability to get forward. And when he gets forward, he gets forward with a purpose. It's not just running for the sake of running. He puts himself in good positions. In the early part of the season, he was scoring goals. That dried up a little bit. But you saw today, when he gets in a position which he has to make a decision, he can get around defenders with that ability and with that speed and can get his head up to provide a pass. It's, it's Again, it's a dream for Carlo Ancelotti because I can put this guy anywhere and I know he's going to cover a space. I know he's going to cover a hole. I can pr play in a hybrid role down the right-hand side. I can talk him inside to help in the midfield. I can play him underneath. He can hit shots from distance. He can defend inside our inside our own 18-yard box. When he's good physically, when he's feeling good, and he doesn't have heavy, heavy and tired legs like he had post-World Cup, Fede Valverde is, in my estimation, quietly perhaps Real Madrid's most important players outside of the guys that we already know and we obviously talk about Benzema and Vinny Jr. But there's got to be an engine. And if that engine's not Luka Modric, it has to be Fede Valverde, than he was today. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.